what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? St. Louis rapper Huey, also known as Baby Huey, whose real name is Lawrence Franks Jr., was murdered on Thursday as a result of at least one gunshot wound. Now, Huey had a song back out in 2006 called Pop, Lock, and Drop It. It was a smash hit. He, he hit a lick with it. But after that, not too much action. Not too much is known, or at least is being reported by what happened but they say that he was standing outside of a home when he was shot and he was rushed to the hospital. It was 10 people out there, about 10 people standing around. He was rushed to the hospital uh, where he succumbed to his injury. They said that another man showed up at a different ho hospital. He was a suspect, not a suspect, but a victim also. He showed up at a different hospital to receive treatment for his wounds. Now, this fam is way too many rappers that are that are being murdered. I mean, you can't even keep up with them, fam. At least once a month, it seems that like a, a prominent rapper, somebody who at least was known at one point. That, that was hot at one point is murder. Now, what I want to know is what are we going to do about it? You see, because I'm looking at it like this. If a youngster is sitting back watching the action, paying attention, and when people say things like, you know, go to school, get a good education, uh, make some out of yourself, do the right thing, be positive, and things will go well for you. But when you do that, then you get out, you get out of the hood, and you still get murdered. I wonder what that would do to me as a youngster if I saw something like that. See, that wasn't happening when I was coming up. Celebrities wasn't getting murdered when I was coming up. You know, you might have somebody get killed, some prominent celebrity get killed every now and then, but I'm not talking about black celebrities getting killed like monthly, weekly. That wasn't happening, not even yearly. It wasn't happening. But it's frequent now. So I just wonder what that does to a youngster's psyche when they see somebody who actually made it out, become prominent, and still gets murdered. He was 32 years old. Typically, if you are someone who was raised in the hood and you know, you're from the streets or whatever, if you can get to 30, usually, you, if when you die, it's, of natural deaths or, or death or some type of accident or something like that. Typically, if you can escape that lifestyle that come with that. And, and what happens is that before you're 30, you're taking a lot of chances. You're still hanging out in dangerous places. You're still getting to try to understand people, who you jive with, who you don't, who is a sucker, who is solid. You're trying to figure out all those type of things, even the type of woman that you're going to deal with. And by the time you're 30, if you're ever going to have some sense, you have it. And so you know how to avoid certain traps by the time you're 30. In most cases, you know how to avoid certain traps. Even if you don't have your business straight by 30, you at least have your social awareness meter straight by the time you're 30. You know, like, you know, I don't think I'm going to go over there. Them fools, they don't too much care about life at that spot right there in that area. They just act too, 
they some damn fools over there. I don't want to go over there. See, you kind of figure that out by, by the time you're 30. When you're young, you feel invincible. And a lot of times you feel like you don't have any other options but to go wherever the crowd is. So you put yourself in dangerous situations more often than you even think of. But 32 years old, top charts, smash hit record. Even though it was a long time ago, he did make it. He did get out. Now, uh, Huey is from Kenlock, Missouri, which is a small, small place. I think they only have a few hundred people there. There used to be a few thousand people there back in like the mid uh, 2000s. Like, that was thousands. Well, maybe a little early, early, early 2000s. But now it's only like a few hundred people. I think three, four hundred people that live there. So the town is really struggling. It has really fallen on hard times. But man, cold-blooded, man. R.I.P. Huey. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.